Welcome to Storytime. Several years after defeating Cell, Gohan is finally ready to start high school in Satin City, named after the man everyone thinks is the Earth's savior. Being in the big city for the first time, he finds himself fighting crime, becoming famous as the Golden Warrior since he fights in Super Saiyan form to preserve his identity. He meets Fidel, Mr. Satin's daughter, who suspects he's the Golden Warrior. Gohan tries to adjust going to school for the first time, attempting to hide the fact that he flies over on a magic cloud and avoiding using his immense strength during baseball practice. Bulma makes Gohan a hero costume and transformation watch to hide him better when he's fighting crime, and he takes on the name Great Saiyaman. Back at school, Videl leaves class to help the police, who call her when they need backup. Gohan follows and the two of them take down a group of robbers together, though Videl immediately figures out who he is. She mentions that the Tenkaichi Budokai is happening soon and demands that he teaches her how to fly. When Vegeta hears Gohan is entering the Budokai, he decides to enter too, and Goku chimes in from the afterlife to say he'll join as well, using his one free day back from the other side. Gohan gets Piccolo and Kudin and number 18, who are living with their daughter Maron on Kamei Island, to register too. Gohan gets help training from his younger brother Goten, born a few months after the fight with Cell. He's surprised to learn Goten can already turn Super Saiyan, and Vegeta makes the same discovery about Trunks. Gohan starts teaching Videl how to use her chi, and Chi-Chi initially mistrusts her until she finds out that Videl is mad rich. Finally, it's time for the Tenkaichi Budokai, and Baba Udenai escorts Goku to the arena for a tearful reunion and his first meeting with Goten. The Budokai is much bigger than it used to be, and so instead of preliminary fights, a punch machine is used to select the top 16. Everyone tries to go easy on it except for Vegeta, who has no chill and casually destroys it. Trunks and Goten enter the youth division, where the final match is, of course, between the two of them. They mess around with each other, but both end up going Super Saiyan even though their moms had told them not to. Goten loses due to his inexperience with flying, and Trunks gets to fight an exhibition match with Mr. Satin, who asks Trunks to do a joke punch on him so he won't be embarrassed in front of the crowd. Even Trunks' lightest punch sends him flying, but everyone thinks it's just an act. Wanting to get into the adult division, Trunks and Goten knock out a contestant named Mighty Mask and wear his clothes. When Piccolo is set to fight against Shin, he sends it to the stranger is and refuses to fight. Piccolo thinks he's the Dai Kaio, the one who stands above the four Kaio, but in fact he's Kaio Shin, who stands above even that. Videl is up next fighting Spopovich, and while she fights well, he is bizarrely powerful and he massacres her, horrifying the crowd and especially Gohan. His match is next, fighting Kibito, who asks him to show him the Super Saiyan form while Kaioshin tells the others not to interfere in the match no matter what happens. Gohan obliges, and though he's not as strong as he was while fighting Cell since he hasn't been training, it's still impressive, and Spopovich and his partner Yamu jump into the ring, stabbing Gohan with a device to start straining his chi. They flee and everyone follows them, though Vegeta is angry because he was supposed to fight Goku next in the tournament. Spopovich and Yamu work for a magician named Babi, who's trying to awake Majin Buu, a Jin that has decimated many worlds. To do so, he needs to inject the container his father sealed Buu in with a ton of energy, which is why they went after Gohan. Videl decides this fight is beyond her, so she goes back, though she makes Gohan promise not to die so they can go on a date. They get to Babi D's ship, where Babi D and his servants Pui Pui and Dabuda, the king of the demon realm, emerge. They waste Yamu and Spopovich since they don't need them anymore, and Babidi and Pui Pui head inside to lure the rest in so they can steal their energy. Dabura one-shots Kibito and turns Kudin and Piccolo to stone so Toriyama doesn't have to draw as many people, and then flees into the ship as well. Gohan and Kaioshin follow, though they have to be careful not to do too much damage and wake Buu. Pui Pui is waiting on the first level and Vegeta kills him easily. Level 2 is the monster Yakon, who feeds on energy, so Goku turns Super Saiyan until he absorbs so much he bursts. Back at the Budokai, they decide to do a battle royale since a bunch of the competitors have left. 18 recognizes Mighty Mask as being Trunks and Goten pretty quickly, cutting through their clothes to expose them. She offers to let Mr. Satin win for 20 million zenny, while Goten and Trunks rush off to join everyone else. Gohan is struggling against Dabada, feeling the weight of not training for several years. Vegeta wants to get it over with and fight Goku, and Babidi senses the darkness in his heart. Babidi offers to help Vegeta surpass his limits, and Vegeta accepts, though Babidi can't control him like he does the others since his will to fight Goku is so strong. Everyone is transported back to the Budokai arena, where Vegeta fires a chi blast directly into the audience. He threatens to kill more people if Goku doesn't fight him. The only thing that matters to Vegeta now is his pride, having been continually surpassed and even had his life saved by a low-class Saiyan. Goku and Vegeta begin their fight, both going at each other seriously from the start. Vegeta still thinks Goku is stronger, and hates that he had to resort to letting someone else power him up. But more than that, he hates that he has become soft, starting a family and beginning to like life on Earth. Goku tries to appeal to what little soul he has left so they can team up to stop Bobby D. Meanwhile, the energy from their fight has finally given Bobby D enough to unseal Majin Buu. Everyone's confused at his cute appearance and happy demeanor, but his strength is unbelievable, as he demonstrates by hitting Dabra into a mountain. Gohan tries to escape with Kaioshin, but Buu instantly catches up and smashes Gohan, knocking him out. Trunks and Goten arrive to see Dabra fighting back against Majin Buu. They accidentally knock over the Piccolo statue, smashing it to pieces. 
Gru uses a beam to turn Dabra into a cookie which he eats. Kududin and Piccolo turn back to normal, the latter regenerating. Vegeta shows up and starts fighting Boo, who heals any damage he receives and hurts Vegeta badly. Goten and Trunks try to help out against Boo, while Piccolo slays Bobby D. Vegeta tells the boys to run, and notes that he's never hugged Trunks even since he was a baby, embracing him for the first time. He knocks out the boys and tells Piccolo to take them away, and Piccolo tells him that there is no way he's going anywhere but hell, but they've got some mutual respect now at least. Vegeta channels all of his chi into a massive explosion, taking his own life. Even though he knows it may not be enough, he's done too much evil to go back to his old life, and this is his one chance at making amends. Unfortunately, like most self-sacrifices in Dragon Ball, this one is entirely meaningless and Boo reforms. Bobbidi has managed to just barely stay alive too using magic and decides that it's human killing time. Goku, who Vegeta knocked out, wakes up and meets Kudin and Piccolo at Kami's, and they bring all their families up there to keep them safe. Though since he can't sense Gohan's chi, Goku assumes he's dead. Goku also declares he can't defeat Boo as he is, but he's learned a new technique called fusion in the afterlife that could have worked if he'd done it with Vegeta. Mr. Popo suggests that Goten and Trunks learn it instead. Meanwhile, Bulma gathers the Dragon Balls and revives everyone that wasn't evil that was killed today. Kibito finds Kaioshin and Gohan overjoyed that they're alive, and Kaioshin decides to take Gohan to his home world, which no mortal has ever been to. 